Located at the mouth of Massachusetts Bay, the Stellwagen Bank National Marine Sanctuary sits astride historic shipping routes and fishing grounds for numerous New England ports. During the 18th and 19th centuries, large whaling ships sailed from these ports in search of whales. These days, whale watching and research vessels ply the waters where whales are no longer hunted, but observed and studied by researchers. Currently, scientists working with Stellwagen Bank staff are tagging a number of whales to study their behavior. This particular project is designed to help us understand how baleen whales and humpback whales in particular use the water column in their daily routine. And we're trying to understand that to really protect them from three main uh, human-caused influences. Uh, one is ship strikes, uh, which of course is a big mortality factor in the sanctuary, as well as entanglement in fishing gear, which is also a large mortality factor. And then really an emerging issue, which is acoustic pollution. These animals are extremely acoustic. They communicate acoustically. They probably forage acoustically. Uh, and if you put a lot of sound in the water column, uh, we're not really sure how that impacts them, but it may interfere with some of their communication and ability to forage. So as they're feeding, as they're swimming, as they're doing whatever whales do to try to understand uh, where they are in the water column, how they interact with fish schools that they're trying to forage upon, and even other whales in the vicinity. We use a long pole to put the D-tag on the animals, uh, and the animals are, are moving relatively quickly, uh, and they don't necessarily want a boat very close to them. So we use this long pole uh, with a slow approach to try to get on, on them as benignly as possible. So the D-tag is then attached with suction cups. So again, it doesn't really harm the animals at all. A very benign attachment. The D-tag is really a great piece of equipment that's designed by Mark Johnson at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. And it's a tag that measures pitch, roll, heading, and depth about 50 times a second. It goes on the animals with a suction cup attachment, so it really doesn't bother them at all. And it gives us a very fine scale look at how they're moving their bodies underwater at a particular depth. And it'll stay on for up to 20 hours, after which time the tag is full of data. Um, it detaches from the whale, floats to the surface. We pick it up, um, download it to the computers, and begin the data analysis. We then bring in another layer, which is that we're putting pingers around the animals. And because the D-tag also has an acoustic sensor in it, we can pick up the pings that these sensors are making around the animals and triangulate on the position of the whale, again, at a very fine scale. So this will tell us exactly where it is spatially in the water column, things like how fast it's swimming, um, how it's moving its body, particular depths as well. We then also bring in the prey mapping aspect um, using an EK-60 to give us a good picture of forage fields underwater. We're bringing a lot of technology uh, to bear on it from different directions and then trying to synchronize them all into the same question. So now we bring all these things together to get a really revolutionary look at how animals are, are performing underwater.